what's up everyone so this is my new project this is a black and decker industrial heavy duty drill bit sharpener i bought this i think about a year ago around five dollar i think if i'm not mistaken it was around five dollar and it works it works fine but um it's very dirty i haven't used it maybe i use it maybe like three four five times and i just left it somewhere but now i want to clean it up and i'm gonna disassemble it i'm just curious to see how uh, this works um it's pretty cool and there used to be an index here which is kind of worn off and i have to see if i can make one for it i didn't see i couldn't find anything online um the model number is black and decker decker 4300 dribble sharpener and it takes a five Anyway, so my plan is to, the paint is in okay condition. I mean, you see these places are all worn off. Um, this side is rusty just a bit. I've seen some newer models that are in black. Uh, now, what I'm planning to do is, first I'm going to disassemble it, and then I'm gonna see if I can remove the labels with heat and uh, like an air blower or an air dryer i mean air dryer and if i could then i will remove the paint clean it and either paint it again same color or different anyways i'm not sure but if i couldn't remove it then i just have to most likely i'm going to keep it just the way it is i might just have to cover this area and then clean just some parts i'm not sure but uh we'll see thanks I think this part is broken.
the same. All right, so <clears throat> this tool, I'm pretty sure it's been just sitting somewhere without any use. I mean, besides me, because I didn't use it much, but before me, uh, because it's in great condition and it must have been sitting somewhere away from dust and all that, because everything is in really good condition. Um, this part I sanded because it was a bit dark, rusty. But just look at this coil, it's a brand new coil. That's crazy, it's really clean. And also, same thing with here. Everything is good. Um, the bearings are marked at 6200Z63. Or G3, I'm sorry, I can't see it. Um, for these two pieces, sister plastic, I'm going to use a uh, purple power. Well, this is not it, but I put it inside here. It's a purple power, it's a degreaser. I've never tried it on uh, plastic. I wonder if it works. You have to leave it like this for like two to three minutes. No, I'm just gonna try. so I just wanted to show you guys something this is a uh, purple power degreaser so I just sprayed some on the paint just crazy look how fast it goes two minutes it is removed the whole paint check this out that's crazy And of course, I forgot to put this back. I just wanted to show you how inside look like. Alright, so after I closed uh, 
this whole grinder, I noticed that this part was loose. And I kept going back and forth until I realized that I installed this the opposite way, the wrong way. So now it's in the correct way. But this was, well, this whole gap was here. And uh, this whole plastic. And it seems that you have to keep it this way so you can fill up that gap in there. You see, in this way, it won't move and you can have a better control on it. The car is still doing those things in front of your friends. A position like this, I've always had an older woman who has more. She's impatient. Okay, so this one is brand new. I'm hoping the angle is the angle is correct. And this one I just did like this, just on purpose. I'll show you guys how it's done. The only thing that I need to change is this index or locator. Um, I haven't made one for it yet. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. Maybe by 3D printer. I'm not sure. But I have to make one. But for now, I'm uh, as soon as I put the drill bit in, I just adjust it with eye. That's the only way I can do it. I'll show you one right now. So this is how I adjust it. Try to align the edge of this locator with the edge of the drill bit. lesson learned when you're done you have to put it back to D that's how it should be once you're done you have to put it on D so it won't fall and the paints I'm glad I was able to find as close to the original color as I could now it looks the same this part is actually a filler it's not like those other paints that I use. This is a filler, a sandable filler. I painted it because my metallic color wasn't really good. So I painted the filler and then I did two coats of uh, clear paint, so. All right, so I'm gonna do another one. And in here it says that the indicator, this, front edge should be in the center in between the drill bit or the flute which is right here so I'm gonna see if I do that it will make any difference have to follow the manual and if yours is worn off like mine then all you have to do is to you see this 
edge right here. Align this with this part, the middle of the drill bit. Hmm. Based on what I did, I noticed that you can get the job done either fast or a few seconds or maybe a minute just depending on how bad your uh, drip bit is but overall it's really handy and I'm glad I cleaned it up I have a lot of drill bits and I can just get them going quickly I tried to do it by hand and the grinder I've just I've tried it many times I'm just not good at it but this really had made my job much much easier I'm really glad I got this. Uh, thanks for watching.